Cause I know, cause I, once I get into it and I'm just looking at shit, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> I already know, man. Alright, let's go, man. Let's go. We are here. We are live and direct, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is the Daily Heat Check Smokecast episode. Yeah, episode. Wait, 60. Cause you know I'm about to trip on my 60. tongue. Zero. Yeah, brethren. Yeah, brethren. We are here live and direct. You know, Mac Amazing is in the building. Talk to the people, fam. Tell them where they can find you, man. Hold up, wait a minute. This feels real good right now. Let me just. <laughs> oh, it's your boy Mac Amazing, man. And hey, I'm everywhere, but find me on Instagram, M.AMAYZN. Oh, man, it feels great to be back on the smoke cast. Oh, my God. This hey, feels beautiful. My brother, it's great to have you back, fam. You know what I mean? We got a lot of shit to talk on, a lot of shit to touch on. You know, there's a man, whole, man. there's a plethora of topics for us to fucking go into, but let me get my screen set up over here. First and foremost, uh, yeah, I'm gonna set my screen up. Bang! Yeah, so now we here, we rocking and rolling. So I'm dual wielding, I got the akimbo cracking off. But then first off on the smoke cast, what I like to do, uh, shout out to TG, I appreciate you. Um, shout out to TG's boys for watching. But in, in commemoration of you, I have rolled a fatter blunt. It may not be as fat as you may like, but it is fatter than the previous one. So I just wanted to address that first, and I appreciate your support and continued support with the smoke cast. But yes, it's about a, a gram and a half fatter. Comment how fat Ooh. it should be, but you know. But on top hey, of that, hey, hey. and longer that shit's good, good, we good, what? good. And, and that's another <laughs> thing too. I like to tell on um, the smoke, on um, the listeners out there, we are on LA cake, LA cake. Ooh. So last week I forgot what it was, but it's LA cake this week, and this shit is booming. So how, I'm about to, I'm about to ask you how the LA cake was, dog. I'm about my, to ask you that. It is amazing. I got a plug from the gods. I don't even deserve him and i mean this because he comes through literally every day with a different flavor he came through with sherlato wait sherbert sherlato blue sherlato cookies was good Sher that's, bro that, that's i'm not shit. even gonna hold you i thought the nigga was making that shit up sherlato like, what the nah, fuck sherlato is sherlato was bro i kid you not i'm like sherlato <laughs> i'm like wait wait this is gelato or sherbert he's like nah sherlato I'm like, all right, but wait, this is the type of plug I got. He is coming through blessing an ungrateful nigga like me with these type of exotic flavors. <laughs> That's the shit I gotta say. So, you know, with that being said, shout outs to you. you know, we're gonna keep you anonymous, but you know who you are. But <laughs> Big facts, no cap. <laughs> yeah, bro, and we we got a lot of shit to touch on this week, bro. So many things going on, uh, but wait. First and foremost, before we even get into the cast, like I said, I'm your host, Piff Beats. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Piff Beats. Mac Amazing just introduced himself. He told you where you could find him, but where you can find us, if you are not watching this live or the video, you can listen to us on any streaming platform, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, not Apple Music, but Apple Podcasts, uh, SoundCloud. You can get the audio version of this podcast available anywhere at any time pick up and listen whenever you want watch the clips or just watch it in long format with the video but we appreciate that and we appreciate you so with that being said we're gonna jump right in man we're gonna go straight into sports and we had a whole bunch of things mm. fucking taken off this week man first off on the slate mac i wait first off we have the tyson versus the first is jones press conference i first, can't wait i can't wait for the fight <laughs> I can't you know what i'm saying oh hold on my dumb man Hello? Yo, 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 I'm here, I'm here. There we go, my nigga, my bad, because you know, my dumb ass left the fucking speakers on. But, <laughs> but what you saying, you can't, you can't wait for the fight. I agree, this Jones, this Jones versus Tyson is going to be a great fight. I don't know if you saw Jones on um, Joe Rogan where he was discussing the actual match, taking the match, and was it a smart decision? And he, he I'm I'm a, you seen it? My brother, yeah. he sounded very doubtful. It did not seem like this was the thing Dude. he wanted after seeing where they were. After he saw where Tyson and his team were going to take it, <laughs> he was like, oh, you know what? Yo, I thought we were just <laughs> sparring. You feel me? I thought niggas was just going to warm up for like 30 minutes, you know, beer hug for like a round or two, and we're just going to call it. He's like, oh no, I no, see sorry. Tyson beating the stuffing out of a speed <laughs> bag. This nigga got he nervous. Backed out. <laughs> he almost backed out the bitch, though. He's he, he stuttering. 
Yo, that <laughs> yo, so when he seen Tyson's first promo, the the pre promo when that nigga was, was going going hard like he nigga. Going, um, he was getting busy. So nigga, he was like wait, <laughs> oh you oh this not exhibition, this nigga, nigga, Tyson, this is what. <laughs> Tyson said, we're in the wing. <laughs> damn, damn. I'm over here like, yo, Tyson, you was wowing, brother. You was wowing. Right now, if you coming in there with them uppercuts and them jabs, Son. nigga, you like 50 hitting niggas like that, fam. You good, Dude, bro. ain't no like 50. This nigga is 54 years old, bro. He's 54 years old, and he turned his body around like this. Bro, Tyson, if he ain't Son. Some- Yo, all he's miss yo, all he missing is is um what's his um his his trainer name? Customato. That's all he was missing. Wasn't that the nigga robbing him and shit? I forgot. One no, of them niggas no, was jerking. No, 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 no. That was Don King. That was Don King. Okay. Customato okay. was Customato was what was his kept him straight and narrow. When he died, that's when Tyson said, I, I'm that I'm that wild kid that's Basically, a man child don't know how to act anymore. That's how that shit went. Like real, that's that's how it really was, bro. Because he already had that that warrior mentality. He let yo that dude had demons, bro. Ain't it still do? He'll let you know that shit, fam. I'm not gonna hold you. It was those demons that got that nigga this far. If them demons, that's- I want to eat your babies. I want I want to kill. I want to, bro. Son, those types of demons. Only- you can't find son. those demons. Them demons so gotta come only- to you. <laughs> so this is the only yo Tyson the only nigga that you you will not look at him different from saying I will rape you. <laughs> he said, I'll, yo, so the nigga said, I, he said I'll fuck you in the ass. <laughs> so then, and nigga said, wait a minute, what? <laughs> wait, wait, no. wait! In his prime, in his prime, when all the bad bitches was coming at him to intimidate you, he was gonna Word. let you know he was gonna clap your cheeks. It ain't no, said, ain't no bigger said, intimidation. <laughs> Ain't no said, bigger I, I intimidation. Eat- <laughs> oh, you gonna clap said, my eat cheeks? Your children. Oh, I'm good. Oh, and eat my babies. You gonna clap my oh, cheeks and eat my babies? No, wait, wait. Then what? Then what? The end of it. All praise due to Allah. <laughs> you can't find them demons at the racetrack. I'm sorry. Son, you can't find hey, bro, them. And he embraced it. He embraced everything. That's why who he is, who he is now. Look, I'm. I'm gonna say this. Tyson, you are who you are for what you've did, and we respect you for that because I don't think yeah, we're man. ever going to see another nigga on... Wait, think about it. It's been probably 20, 30 years since Tyson. I don't think we're ever going to see anybody nearly as close as him. His ferocity, hmm. what he brought to the table, table the way he was knocking and laying them out. Son. Never, ever. He's a one-of-a-kind <laughs> goat. You feel Son, me? He was one of the most balanced fighters I've ever seen at 5'10". Knocking them Heavy out early. Weight. Heavyweight, 5'10", knocking niggas out that's 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", mm-hmm. same body weight. Stocky. Making niggas buckle. Come on. And he wasn't just knocking niggas out. He was taking you to the 10th, 12th round, then knocking you out in that round, just letting you know this is what I do. Just like that. No, that's a big fact, my nigga. That's a big fucking fact. So anybody out there that that that's doubting Tyson or, or or got anything to say about Tyson, son, he proved that you have never seen a fighter like Tyson. I don't care about his losses. Tyson is a hybrid. Yeah, I Hands strongly down. agree. Strongly agree. But then, Hands with that down. being said, let's let's call it real quick. Where do you, who do you think is going to win, and how long do you think it's going to go? Because I believe they well, said they they're going to do bro. a 10 to 12, or is it 12? No, 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 no. It's eight rounds. It's eight rounds. Eight? They're doing eight rounds for that. It's, eight? Listen, listen, listen. Wait, 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 wait. It's eight rounds, and it's two-minute rounds. Oh, that's normal. That's standard, right? Hold up. But wait, but wait. No, that's not standard. It's three-minute rounds. <laughs> it's three-minute rounds. <laughs> but, yo, real shit, no cap. I think they did that more or less for Roy Jones, not for Tyson. <laughs> Bro, wait, and here's the crazy thing. If you saw the Joe Rogan interview, that nigga was saying it. He was like, fam, I, I, once they said they were going to go to the promoters, get an extra bag, bring it to the show, then he starts seeing he was training. Because basically he said, he was like, yo, it was only a six-week time window we had for training. Six weeks. Yeah. Once he saw that he was giving more, and this is literally what he said. He's like, once I saw Tyson going in for more than six weeks, he's like, I got a little nervous. Because you give him more than six weeks, this man might be a different person in that ring. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but hold up. But time out. Real talk. No cap, son. Just off the strength of I seen the transition of Roy Jones from middleweight to mm-hmm. light heavyweight. All jokes aside, son, Roy Jones is a great, was a great fighter wait, wait. in his prime. 
still he still got some juice, and I'm only come no. jumping in to say that say this because we spent a lot of time praising and you know idolizing Tyson for what he oh, is and his crazy. I wasn't done. I wasn't done. You feel me? No, no, no. I, I was just jumping in to say that because Roy Jones is not a scrub. We just don't no, think he's gonna no, live. No, no, no. Bet Roy Jones is not a scrub. But let's keep this a hundred. Mm -hmm. When Roy Jones switched over from middleweight to light heavyweight, the only nigga that he really beat. The breaks off was John Ruiz. Everybody else that he fought knocked him his fucking block off, bro. No, no, he, he, you right. Yo, you son, right. he every fight he every fight that he, he lost in light heavyweight, it wasn't it was it wasn't no decision. It was TKO or KO. Yeah, yeah. Antonio Tarver. I think the other one name was Glenn Roberts, the Jamaican dude, the mm -hmm. um the yard boy. Yeah, man. He knocked he knocked him out. Antonio Tarver did it twice to him. So like I. Again, I'm not yo. He was one of the best middleweights I've ever seen that can do it, hands down. Speed. He had a balance of speed and power. Facts. But Facts. you're going against somebody that's used to heavyweight. He been in heavyweight ever since the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. Since so the fucking Olympics. I'm. I'll say this. He knocked out Larry Holmes. Bro, he like he, wait his his body count is wait here's the crazy thing. Let alone the people he fought, the people he got bodies under that he fought is ridiculous. He didn't fight like you said, like you said, he wasn't fighting scrubs, and he wasn't, he wasn't losing to scrubs either. But I'll say this: I'll give I'll give Jones five. I give him eight if they're doing the bear hugging, if he's doing the running around type shit. But if they're going jaw to jaw slug match, I'm giving Tyson three. Three rounds to put him out, at least drop him by the third. That's what I'm saying. I feel like Tyson could drop him by the third. Son, but if they're not doing yo, a slug as, match, I think he could go five or maybe yo, six. Just being as honest. As much as you know, I love debating with you. I love debating with you. <laughs> I got to fucking agree with you, bro. Yo, bro, <laughs> third, I'm being honest. I say the, the, most, the most the beginning of the fourth round because Tyson probably played with him just. Wait, the, you think he's going to drop the, him in the beginning of the fourth? In the fourth, beginning of the fourth. Woo! You heard it here first. You heard it Beginning here first. Beginning of the no. fourth. Jump. Wait. It, now, hold on. I just want to be sure. Is it going to be one of those, boom, he's going to hit him? Doesn't matter if it's a body shot or head shot, but is he going to hit him and, and he's going to stumble? Or is he just going to get, like, fatigued son, and just catch him? No, son. He's going, nah, he's going to fuck stunning him. He might knock Roy Jones out, son. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Son Tyson, son, everybody. Oh, you say ever, you say bring the blanket ever, in the in the round on the fourth. Bring a blanket in <laughs> <and> a pillow. <laughs> night night. <laughs> I got some sheep for you, bro. And <laughs> I got sheep and they and they love crossing that damn fence, bro. I promise you. Son, everybody that ever had a feel of Tyson's power said he had hands of bricks. Jesus. Jesus. And I, I felt a brick. Tyson Tyson said himself, I am a warrior. I was taught by the best. <laughs> no, you ain't he's lying. a warrior. He's coming in there to kill. He'll kill you and then bring you back to life and say good fight. Wait, with that being said, I'm good. But wait, let's let let I think we covered them and we already got our winner and we picked it. But now I got another excellent topic. Let's move on. I got an excellent mm -hmm. one. Wait, but it's the perfect segue. Because if you see where I'm going with it. I think you, I know where you're going with this. So wait, my, my boy, with. our boy, your boy, your man's, Deontay Wilder took it upon himself a year and a half later to finally come out, whether it was a candid re recording or I don't know how public this was. Uh, we're going to have to put it up on the screen for you. But our boy, well, it. his boy, your boy, they were like, look. He, what did he say? He breaks the silence and he accuses Tyson Fury of being a cheater. Hold on. I'll pull it up right here because it's actual audio. But maybe I, I can find... I've seen it. Yo, I, I seen this. I'm not... This is the crazy part. I'm a fan of both fighters. Okay. So even me watching both fights, like, I'm a fan of boxing. From, from start, I'm a fan of boxing. So I, okay. I, I, I follow technique. And one thing I always said about Dante Wilder... Dante Wilder is not a technical fighter. He's a Dante Wilder is a um he's a knockout artist. He's a brawler. If he put if he put mittens on you, you're going to you're going to sleep. No. But with that Tyson Fury fight, 
I seen I I I I seen where they slowed it down and his hand went like ah. it was like ah. Here's a knock. it was a ah. <laughs> Matter of fact, I watched that fight that night. I was uh, we was out. I was we was out with, with the homies. We was watching. We walked, watched night, the fight. I was out, we was out. I was we was out. With them. And so I'm looking. I, I I didn't see that in the fight. So video can always get manipulated. No, we That's know that. That's a fact. That's a fact. We know that. So 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 like so so like Wilder. I don't know what's true and what's not. At the end of the day, you lost. Wait. Because right here, just to get the article, it says he took to Twitter and Instagram to a year unload. Later. Yeah, a year later to unload close to, on close Fury. Close to a year later. A little bit close to a year because it was in February. It was February 18th. No, 22nd was the fight, I think. Yeah. It was a Saturday. It was a Saturday. I, I remember the shit. I, I, and me watching that fight the whole time, I didn't see no I didn't see no gloves going like, eh. I didn't see no. But wait, eh. but here, wait, we got a quote. Follow me. I saw in the first fight when Ricky Hatton was pulling down your gloves to put your hands in the improper position, Wyler mm. said in the video, y'all tried the same method the second time, but this time you scratched the flesh out of my ears, which caused my yes. ears to bleed. It's impossible for brand for a brand new 10 ounce glove to bend and keep a smushed in form or have loose space. I highly believe you put something you put something had in your glove. You put, put yeah, that's what it said. Because I'm thinking, because yeah. guys, disclaimer: I read like a retard. But you <laughs> feel me? It, it clearly is saying here that yeah, that's definitely the situation. <coughs> I, I don't, I don't know, bro. Like, my, like my thing is, you, you, you say that now, mm -hmm. but you didn't take it to the authority. You're, 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 and, 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 and during your whole during this whole interview that he was talking, he was quoting Bible quotes, talking Wait, about basing so many let, words. Let me jump I'm in and say this. Let me jump in and say this though, because I want you to go in because I like where you're going. But this man had a year to do dig and do research, create an argument, and fabricate a story. If you want to take this road to make mm -hmm. it to, to get to this point, to be like, yo. Fury, you declined the rematch. This is some BS, da da da, or whatever the case may be. It's like he had a year plus change to really come. It's like a nigga sitting in jail for a murder and he been there for twenty years. He got twenty years to rethink how this shit played out and how the story went. So by the Bro. time you talk to him, you, 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 he's gonna have you eaten out of his hands. But you get what I'm saying? But that's, that's neither here. But going, I, I, I want to hear. I want to hear the theory you're going with. I want to hear hold your up, theory. Hey, 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 hold on. Hey, Piff, the mm -hmm. um the, the screen is kind of messed up. Just let you know that if you didn't know. Oh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. The other right, ones. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, bet. Just making sure. All right. But um, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm just saying, if that was me, mm -hmm. and 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 I know for a fact these videos that he's watching and the information the intel that was given to him, this was given to him ASAP. Yeah. It was given to him ASAP. So this ain't nothing to ponder on. It's not nothing to go crazy over. Oh, well, it's something to go crazy over, but it's nothing to keep on pondering on just to try to come up with a great response, per se, since since since, since he doesn't want to fight you now. Mm -hmm. He don't want he, he had the right not to fight you. Why he should give you a third a third fight? You barely wanted to give him a second one. That's like, right. Like, right. like, come like, and I'm not I mean, and that's just some real shit. If you really felt like this man cheated you out of a fight, right oh, then and there, you would have took it straight to you would have took it straight to the WBC, and you would have made sure that your voice was heard. Why? Because you were undefeated. No one beat you. This the same man that gave you a draw your first fight. He gave you your first draw, and then the second fight, he knocked your ass out. Now, if not knocked you out, they, they 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 called the fight off when he was when he was tapping your jaw. So I won't say a knockout. Well, yeah, I won't it, say a knockout. The second fight was a lot cleaner than the first one. Like if the it was first a lot one, cleaner. Wait, because if there was, was any doubt in the first fight, you could you could get that. The second yo, fight, that speculation and doubt. I think Fury did a good job of at least yo. Like you get what I'm saying? But yo, real shit, real shit. My fault for cutting you nah, off. No, go ahead, go ahead. If yo, if Tyson Fury was in the shape he was on that second fight for the first fight, Dante wasn't the last. I agree. Strongly agree. Tyson Fury is a technical fighter. Like, like I, yo, real talk. He has power, but he shows how agile he is. He's a very agile heavyweight for a big I, yo, man too. 
Seven Wait, because he's six nine, bro. He, yo, nine. most niggas that big don't move that smooth. <laughs> yeah, he told the nigga move like Muhammad Ali, damn near. You can like yeah. you can tell he kind of emulates him in a way. Mm-hmm. Like so, it's like for him to be six nine, and you're moving like that. And Dante, all you ever look for is is, is that knockout. That's. Wait, he, all he, all he, because I'm gonna be honest. I think I told you this. All he got is the haymaker. When you That's really you break down, and I'm gonna keep a G with you. I'm not a boxing guy. I'm not, and I'm only saying that to admit that if I say anything crazy, it's not my. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just heads mm-hmm. up. But. By looking at him and just knowing people who fight or seeing fights, whether on TV, street fight, or actual professional boxing, his footwork isn't that tight. Like, if you watch enough Mayweather, Gotti, uh, Mm -hmm. Judah, or you get what I'm saying? Like, and granted, like I said, I've seen some of those fights, and I'm not a big boxing guy, but they moved way different and way more nimble. Granted, this is heavyweight, so I'm expecting him to be a little more sluggish. But like you said, yes. even Fury had a little nimbleness to him when he moved. So, son, yo, Fury, yo, Fury, yo, if you pay attention to this nigga, how he move around, son, he move light on his feet. No bullshit. Watching that, for watching that Fury and Dante Wilder fight was watching Mayweather versus Cotto. No mm-hmm. cap, son. Mm-hmm. No cap. You're watching you. a power hitter go, go. You're watching a power hitter go against somebody that knows how to play defense and know how to not get hit. Yeah, and, you and really and, start and to appreciate the, technique. And is the equivalent of that as, as a heavyweight. No, yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. And now I check this. He got another one. We ain't gonna give him too much shine, but he got another video where he claims that his water was spiked before the fight, and the reason yeah. why he lost wasn't because of the the the. The Game of Thrones Night King armor he decided to wear. It was because the water was spiked. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. A year and a half. Le- Wait. Regardless if it's true or not. Let's just play devil's advocate here. Whether it's true or whether it's not. Almost a year and a half later. Do we even care? Or is this just shit just because we we're bored? Yo, son. Real shit. I'm about to answer your question. With, I'm about to answer your question with these statements. What you're talking about, these these two situations about Wilder came out probably like the day after or or probably within that weeks of, after, pardon me, after the fight. Mm-hmm. So with people saying that, again, if that was true, why didn't you get yourself tested if you were drugged? Because it was talked about. It was it was talked about immediately. It after. was talked about. It was this is this is nothing new under the right sun. Right. This was yeah. talked about the second the the end the last week of February, then the, the next week after it was all on YouTube. All these videos was on YouTube. So why you wait February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October? Son, you waited nine months. Nine months. Listen, that's son, why you I, lost. That's what you I'm saying. Lost. Do we even care? Do we Yo, even care? Then, wait, wait, <laughs> wait. And this crazy. It's crazy, son. Then got the nerve. I just found out today. Ah, oh God. Well, I wish I should have told you about this. Just found out today that Mayweather offered his services to him huh. just with training. And he denied Mayweather's training. Nigga, you need a nigga like Mayweather to train you. What did I just say? I noticed his footwork and he does not move around like... Like, I kid you not, I can see why he has so many knockouts and how he got so far in boxing. He is a big dude, power hitter, and I'm not going to lie to you. Wait, I'm not going to lie to you. Nine out of ten guys he faced is going to sleep. It's just that this that Tyson Fury was that one out of the ten that he... Wait, just really think about it. Like I said, nine out of ten guys you put in front of him won't even make it to the third round, especially with one of those haymakers that he's throwing. But Tyson Fury, wait, he barely made it out of one of those haymakers, but he is that one out of the... T- you get what? He's the exception, not the rule. I'm with it. We got a bunch well, we of things next. on the so we slate. Got next. Now, let's talk about verses real quick. Because the T.I. versus Jeezy shit was a banger. Um, you know, when I, re- when I spoke on it, that shit's doing real good for the cast. But at right. the same time, let's talk about Gucci Mane because I see that versus is a hot topic. Gucci Mane said that he wants a milli just to participate in these versus battles. I'm not going to hold you and sound like a fool. I didn't know these niggas was getting paid. But shit, I wouldn't be yeah, surprised. Yeah, paid, bro. 
Niggas is getting paid, bro. <laughs> niggas Wait, is getting paid, I, so. I wouldn't doubt that niggas is getting paid, though. You feel me? But I'm not going to sound ignorant and be like, oh, I didn't know niggas was getting... I'm pretty sure, you know, to take them out of their day to do a fucking two to three hour concert, basically, in a, you, however you want to call it. Yeah, they definitely are getting the bag. But then just to see the numbers, though, like, if he, Gucci Mane wants a milli, just, okay, so if Gucci Mane is the bar, and that bar is a milli. How much did Ross get? Word. How much? Hold up, hold up. How much did um? Ah, what's his name? Um, Man. two Bro. chains. How much two chains got? Yeah. If the bar is a milli, so you're instantly telling me. So if a bar is a milli, nobody has hit a milli yet. Then how much did these niggas get, bro? Uh huh. Real talk. Because if Gucci but, Mane but is trying to, that, but him to put that number out there. Just like that, with conf- with confidence. Nah, I want to know numbers, bro. Son, I'm like, I want to know fucking numbers, bro. I want to know numbers. So, I could instantly assume that since we're talking these type of numbers, that Ross, they're talking the hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand for some of these battles. But now for Jada and Fab, I think that battle together was probably two hundred thousand. So you think they, so you think they both got a hundred thou each? Honestly, yeah, not because the not not because of who they are and trying to lowball them, but I'm just assuming because of the value and the viewership that was the biggest one to date. But then when you look at the Ross one and some of these other ones that they have done, some of these blew that shit out the water. Hmm. So I'm just trying to think. I'm I'm guessing. I don't know. Them niggas probably got the bag. They probably got a half a mil each. You feel me? And they better have. But I'm just assuming because of like the notoriety. Oh, no, I look yo, at son, Ross I, and Two Chainz to be bigger, more notable artists. Yo, real shit. If you was real, gonna real pay, pay, I would say you would give it to them because they have more recent hits that people who tune in, or at least this young generation, would connect with. I don't know, man. I I think I honestly think Ross and they they probably both got. What, two hundred thou? Honestly, because for him, for for Gucci man to say a mil, nobody haven't even touched five hundred thou yet, or even thought about touching five hundred thou yet. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I think the most the, I think the most of them dudes got up there between Rick Ross and Two Chains. I honestly think they probably got like two hundred and fifty each. Really? For that? Yeah. Okay. Real talk. But at least Honestly, we set I, I, we setting the I, 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 we, we breaking the numbers down. Now at least yeah. we have an idea. At least we have an day, idea. At the end of the day, as much as we don't want to say it, it's all about worth. Mm-hmm. It is about worth. That's a who fact. Well, how, like That's a fact. Real, they, they really they really look at it like this. Who would sit there? How many people would think will sit here and watch these people play their old music? You're right. You're right. That's what they did. And they and they said, you know what? This is what either either Rick Ross and them came up with a number or they presented them a number. Now to out of ten, they presented them a number. Nah, you are, you're absolutely right. But because, listen, yeah. I, I'm thinking niggas is debating it. I honestly don't know how much niggas is getting paid. But like I said, if Gucci Man is the bar and he said it at a milli, I'm just curious to know what niggas was getting paid. Or and, and wait, and I'm pretty sure there's niggas out there curious too. Because if, he's, if he yeah. wants a mil... Wait, but just think about this. If Gucci Mane is getting a milli, how much does his contender get? Who? Who? And who does he go against for that milli? Who goes against Gucci Mane for a milli? Yo, real talk on, on some real shit, son. I'm going to be so honest with you. Nobody ain't going to pay him a mil for that shit, son. Nobody is not paying Gucci Mane a mil, bro. Like... I'm gonna be honest with you, yo. Nobody's not. I, I, I don't. And that's not even throwing no shade, bro. That's like just. Yeah, you had you had hits, but you didn't have a million dollar hits, bro. Hey, man. I, I, I beg to differ. You feel me? That's probably gonna be a hot take on your behalf. But Gucci Man definitely got a milli worth of hits. He got a milli worth of records. Um. I don't know about those big chart busters, but he definitely got some fucking 
uh, I forgot the shit I used to soup. He got like super cocky. He got shit like that in his bag all fucking day, bro. Like, hold up, Gucci Mane got some shit. But so you so so I so let me ask you a question. Yeah. You would pay a mil to Gucci Mane in, in, in a versus battle? But that's what I'm saying. Who's he going against? Real talk, Jeezy should have went against him. Mm. That would have been epic. Oh, that that would have been epic because there's already Ooh. tension with them. It's old tension with them, bro. Yeah, you know, but that shit wouldn't have played out like that unless they really officially <laughs> squashed that shit. Because you know, these street niggas are definitely look at this as an opportunity to fucking bounce on their op. Yeah, <laughs> not, not true, true. <laughs> uh, oh, that nigga no, gonna be no, here no. tonight? Oh, say less. Say, we pulling up with them thang thang. <laughs> you feel That's me? That's some real shit, though, son. <laughs> No cap, no cap. <laughs> no, real talk. But um what we got next? Uh let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, I, we got a few things here on the hip hop slate. I wanna talk about this. You wanna talk Dr. Dre and his wife? Yeah, yo, you know what? Yeah, I've been hearing some things about this. It, it's his wife his wife got denied of the, let's pull this article up. So basically she, you know, she been in her bag. <laughs> a billion dollar divorce between Dr. Wade's ex-wife is getting messier and messier by the day. So, you feel me? I, I basically, I think she got denied last month. She called the police on his estranged wife and accused her of embezzlement. Dr. Dre. So, I don't know what's going on. I'm guessing she's not getting the $2 million a month that she wanted for this litany of Oh, yeah, needs. she ain't getting that. Nah, yeah, she wait, ain't Once you sort of break down the needs, it was hilarious, but... Need I go into that later? But basically, she said, like, yo, there's three alleged mistresses. So I'm wondering, because, you know, basically these prenubs, if you cheat or some shit, that's like a clause to void the yeah. prenub. You get what I'm saying? So that's what yeah. I'm wondering. Is she trying to do right now by bringing up these three alleged mistresses? Like, is that her trump card? Like, oh, all right, nigga, you ain't trying to cut the check? I got your ass. I'm going to pull out. You feel me? I'm going to go into my, my mistress bag and pull out these little heifers and have you really get caught up. Because wait, because if they, if that shit, if that's the situation, she could fuck around and walk away with half. Easy. Seeing the situations turn left easy. You feel me? Definitely can. It, it can it, it can sway her way within a blink of an eye. <laughs> so he better watch himself. Nah, you know, but... That's neither here or there, but let's let's keep it moving, man. Um, hold up, oh, we got him next. Did you see the uh, the stripper party? Yo, son, that shit was, yo, bro, yo, yo, son. I feel like that that yo, like that was so like why, fam. My like my nigga, why, fam? Wait, I'm not gonna hold you. When I read it, I thought they were actually in front of his jail cell. I didn't know they were in front of the jail. <laughs> they were from the Hold up. Oh, you thought niggas had it like that? Wait, wait, wait. I didn't know niggas was in front of the jail. I'm sorry. I thought you were in front of the jail cell like we were seeing like mob movies, like how El Chapo would do it. No, niggas was in front of the jail. You know what I mean? Sipping Henny and, and enjoying the strippers and, 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 and throwing yo, the yo, singles on his behalf. Were like, we're real shit. Like, Give it like I, I don't know, bro. Like I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know how to feel about that. Listen, I, bro. I really don't. I, I like like I under I, I I understand the um. I understand the the um the energy put into it, but I feel like it was a waste. That that was like, come on, man. I nah. I think I'd be more upset just being behind the cage looking at that. Listen, man. Especially when you serving what double triple life, yeah, word a- son like ah, yeah, it just it's just it's even more depressing what I'm missing. <laughs> no cap, bro. No, no, no cap, son. I don't. I can't, even, I can't. I can't even blame you, bro. I can't even blame you. Real shit. <laughs> Real shit, son. Just All thinking right. about that, bro. That shit. That's just depressing as fuck. This nigga is this nigga is never coming home. Well, he just killed two of his best friends. So unless he got the fucking craziest lawyer, or he could pull Cochran's soul out the fucking ground, 
I doubt that he's fucking getting anything close to a remote appeal that's going to get him home anytime soon. But mm. let, let's talk about, let's go, I'm going to keep it G. Let's go into the fucking news, man. Let's light, light. Talk, talk, talk. Let's let's go straight into Oregon, man. Let's talk. Yo, son. I Yo, bro. Son. Really? Son. Decriminalizing. Really, son? Hold up. I'm trying to pull this shit up right here. So pull it up, pull son. Pull it up and talk. It's talk, yo. Oh, so man. Oregon became the first state to decriminalize hard drugs like heroin, cocaine, and meth in a 59-41 vote as the early Wednesday morning, according to Associated Press. The Drug Addiction Treatment and Recovery Act will transition Oregon's drug policy from a punitive criminal approach to a humane, cost-effective health approach. I don't know what camera to look into right now, but if you just heard what I just said, man, just listen. So if you get caught with a brick of dope, this is no longer going to be the criminal approach. We're going to take the humane, cost-effective approach with your brick of dope. And I'm hoping this is for recreational use, of course. But people suffering from addiction are more effectively treated with health care services than with criminal punishment, the bill reads. A health care approach includes a health assessment to figure out the needs of people who are suffering from addiction, and it includes connecting them with services they may need. So basically, if you get arrested for drugs now in Oregon, you're no longer, well, you will no longer be treated like a criminal and more treated like an addict and given the help you need rather than the rehabilitation to get off these drugs. And I'm not going to hold you. Either one, I, I agree with, because in most cases, if you heard stories of some fiends going to jail, they kick that shit and, you know, get dope sick and they get right back where they need to be. And in most cases, they find the people in there that could supply them and they end up right back into the loop that they was in that when they left the streets. So... It's really all on perspective when you look at a situation like this. But then when you come down to say the whole thing for the legalization of this recovery treatment act, the Oregon drug policy right now, I'm going to be honest, with a humane cost-effective health approach, it's probably not going to be what they need to really take it to where they want it to be in the future. Because right now, if you're going to be telling people right off the bat, if you get any type of abuse of drugs that instead of sending you to jail, we're going to give you treat. You're just basically putting a Band-Aid on a bullet wound because basically they're going to keep doing the same thing, repeating the process because I'm, I'm, I'm just assuming. I'm just assuming because most people, most drug addicts that are locked in, they're already committed to their life and their faith. They already chose the life. They're like, yo, this is what it is. This is where I'm go. This is what it's going to be. You feel me? So ain't no reason for this shit to be anything otherwise than that. <laughs> but let's move on to the next topic, man. Um, this is a big one, man. Recreational marijuana is legalized in New Jersey. About time. I remember back in November when we was voting on, back in April, they had a vote on this when Phil Murphy first came into office. Then all of a sudden, the whole shit just went left. It was a unanimous vote to not have it because people did not want it in their neighborhoods. And, you know, there was a lot of reasons. I remember that bill. If I could put it up on the screen, I'll show you. But basically, they were giving us reasons to why they didn't want it in their neighborhood because they thought people were just going to be out there recreationally loitering and just indulging in front of their whole, you know, establishment, which is understandable. Definitely understandable. But at the same time, they came around to it and marijuana is now legalized in New Jersey. But to give you the full breakdown of it, all right, so basically, congratulations. This is everything you're going to need to know if you're in New Jersey and you want to know about the legalization of marijuana. First things first, when could you legally possess and consume marijuana? This is coming straight from a Leafly article. I have the link in the description. But basically, 
is going to take the moment the clock clicks midnight on New Year's Eve, you're in the clear at 12.01. So basically in about two months, you'll be straight to enjoy and indulge legally recreation, recreational bud on the streets of New Jersey. How much can you possess? That's a mystery right now. They have no clear understanding on what you could hold, what is too much, what is not enough, or whatever the case may be. But at the current point, uh, New Jersey is just letting you say at midnight, you're good to go. Um, when can you buy? So right now, uh, the legislature will let you know more in a few weeks or days, depending on when, based on the gentleman Nick Scritari. Basically, uh, right now, I think New Jersey only has about seven to ten uh, medical uh, rec uh, you know, facilities. So they're going to need a lot more. So please believe there's going to be permits coming out. Um, they're going to be growers needed, cultivators needed. This is going to be the city of amazing things in a few, or the, the state of amazing things. Hopefully the next Colorado, but I'm pretty sure they're going to try to regulate it like a D.C., but we're going to see what it turns into. Um, will the cannabis be taxed? Of course. Of course. Of course. Do we? Everyone knows that, right? Um, can I, my town or county, ban weed stores? Very good bring up. And the answer to that is yes. Counties and local municipalities will be able to draw up their own rules and regulations regarding the cannabis companies, including prohibiting them altogether. So if in some places or, you know, maybe in more of the affluent towns, I don't even know. They might they might want it there. But at the same time, there are going to be some places where they're just going to be like, no, we don't want it here. It's not welcome. X, Y, Z. All right. Will there be a lot of weed stores? Like I said previously, we don't know because... There's only about seven to 10 medicinal ones at the moment. So for there to be more, they're going to have to open up more. And for them to open up more, they're going to have to uh, give out more permits and get more cultivators because, like you said, it's going to take a long time to grow. It's going to take about at least four months to grow one proper harvest. And then you're going to want some selections. And then you're going to want locations. So it's going to take some while. This is not there. I don't see any expansion happening for at least me personally, at least a year, at least a year. But then again, unless there was people in the backdrop who already knew this was going to happen and they already had a drop on it and they're just waiting to get their permits and their location and the keys to their place and they're already set up with cultivators on deck because that's how it goes. If you are if you got the inside, you know. And if you know, you already know. Um, well, this is a big one right here. Will there be a sentence expungement process? Because basically, I know my boy right now locked up, and he's basically facing time. And he's been in there since January 15th, 2020, because of fucking marijuana charges. And now that this shit is now gone legal, I'm wondering, are they going to reverse this and let my guy free? They can't give him back the nine months of his life that they took from him. But now that they passed the laws that this shit is now legal, are you going to let him go? Let's really be honest, man. I've been a strong advocate about this, especially in New Jersey, home state, the garden state. So we just got to really let's look at this and be realistic, man. We got to let, let let these black men be free, bro. And this has nothing to do with who's president. Once this shit is legal, you got to go back on it. You got to reverse it and you got to do the right thing like a Spike Lee joint. Let's move on to the next. Um... Netflix is raising the prices, man. It's going up. It's going up. And I find this to be interesting because basically Netflix and like I think last episode or the episode before that, I was like, yo, they stopped the 30 day free trials. And if you notice, because I'm pretty sure I have in the last five years, Netflix has raised the price at least about two to three times. So they're raising the price again. And now they cut the free trials and hold on. The base, I think the base plan stays, still is the same, but if you want the one with all the extra bells and whistles, it's going to be a little extra for you. But basically, let me see from the article right here. The streaming media company is raising the prices on its standard and premium plans for U.S. consumers. The standard plan is now $14 a month, up a dollar from uh, uh, a month from last year. Just lost my train of thought. Then the premium subscription will go up two dollars to eighteen a month. Its basic plan remains unchanged at nine dollars a month. 
So that's interesting just to look at in itself because when you see it right now, Netflix, before you know it, I'm telling you, by 2021 or... But yeah, by the end of 2021, Netflix is going to be like $20 a month. It's going to be one of the most expensive streaming services platforms out there. I promise you. At $18 a month now, it is more than Disney+, Plus, more than Hulu, more than um, Amazon. And I'm just saying, based off what they're offering and what you could get with all these other services, because Amazon is giving you the 4K HDR. Hulu is giving you 4K HDR high-def content. Um, let's see, Disney Plus, I'm not a subscriber, but I'm pretty sure they're giving you 4K HD content as well. So when you look at all of those and you bring it all together, like, uh, yeah, I'm being very honest. I, I think that this is going to be a, a decision that you're going to have to weigh. And especially if you're somebody like me that's already looking at some of the content on Netflix, like, yo, this stuff is like subpar. This is going to be just the perfect justification you need to be like, yo, I need to get out of this ASAP. This is not worth the $20 a month that I'm paying, especially in comparison, because right now, $18 a month for the um, the premium membership that they got going on, Netflix is basically as much as Disney Plus, uh, Hulu. Yeah, Disney Plus and Hulu. So, yeah, so you could basically get two, two streaming services with the price of one premium Netflix subscription. And with that one Netflix subscription, you're going to be able to get what for $18 a month, you're going to be able to get the same thing that you're getting basically on the other platforms, the 4k HDR, great content, original content, the movies. Um, it's honestly, Netflix has some great stuff, but it, they have some slow periods, man. Like I said, Netflix <laughs> makes it. No, I'm dead ass. Netflix, their thing. The thing is that they do really good is that they make great original content, but the thing that they do really bad is they make things for everybody. And I know that sounds like it sounds yeah, very nah, selfish. Nah. Explain that. I, I don't. I, I don't know. Go deeper in depth with that, bro. Wait, it sounds selfish because it's almost like the like it's the um the phrase like if you're the um the master of everything, you're the master of none. If you're, if you're the jack of, I forgot what it is because basically it's the thing. It's the whole point I'm trying to get to is that. They're doing a good job of making original content, and some of the original content they make is really good, and I enjoy it a lot. Like Ozark, Mindhunter, Narcos, um, you know, just to name a few. And some of the international joint that they bring over is pretty good. Like I just it's finished def- watching definitely. Glory, totally and um, Glory was really good. Like you know, it ended just the way I think movies should end more of more more um, more these days. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who haven't seen it, but. Basically, the point is, is that their thing is they're trying to make content for everybody. And when you make content for everybody, the people that like, say, this particular piece of content, they have to wait X amount of weeks or months until you get something else that is remotely close to that. And then when you do, you need to hope that it is as good as the last piece of content they like, or it's just going to go to the wayside. You're like, ah, uh, this is cool, but I didn't like it as much as I liked the other one. And now I'm waiting another two to three weeks for another piece of content that's similar to that. And and like I said, their back catalog is good. They got a lot of good stuff up there. But when you look at things just objectively as a whole, um, Netflix is not going to be worth it in a few, especially when they're going to these $20 a month prices. I'm just speaking my piece on it, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Nah, I think it still is. I, I cause at, at the end of the day, you gotta think about it. It, you know how you know it's still gonna work with Netflix, cause all these cable companies are doing the same thing. Yeah, they're following. They're following the whole streaming wave. They saying people are not paying for cable. Well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna cater to both. But Netflix is that blockbuster you don't have to go to anymore. Oh, uh, you're right. You're right. People but- always love a blockbuster. <laughs> Look, wait, Think Blockbuster. No, nah, Blockbuster it, was the shit. And remember, Netflix used to do the DVDs. They switched their business model, but right now they're in the business of original content. And when you're in the business of making and curating original content, I think you should go after the best content and not the content for everyone. Like HBO, like I'm gonna be honest, they don't make content for everyone, but the content they get, it's really fucking good. Like you get what I'm yeah. saying? It's like it's really good. 
So yeah. an HBO subscription, you feel it's me, premium. for like that. So if they're charging you $18, $20 a month, you already know you're getting, one, an amazing back catalog. Oz, The Wire, Sopranos, Entourage. Oh, my. You get what I'm saying? It goes on and on. Westworld. You get what I'm saying? And then on top of that, their original, their movies, their original current content, and they, they, and they just recently absorbed all of DC. So that whole DC streaming universe is now... Now exclusively on um HBO. So there's yeah, a ton, that. you yeah. feel me? There's a ton of content out there right now on HBO. But like I said, they're just grabbing the top of the notch, good action pack, you know, a little sprinkle of drama and chick flick here and there, comedy, but they know who their fan is. If that makes any sense, like the HBO nah, subscriber, nah, sense. they they're very happy and pleased they with know the subscription. Who, they know who they 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 basically they they know how to keep their core fan base per se. Absolutely, but then when yeah. it comes down to the two services, just to, just to put it like this, if you had to choose between paying eighteen dollars for HBO or eighteen dollars for Netflix, which one do you pay? Oh, wow, that's a tough one. That's a yo real talk. I don't it know, a bro. <laughs> it's a toughie. Yo, son, because HBO, we, they come, son. They, <laughs> uh, they do. They do. HBO come. But Netflix, I don't know, bro. I had to get both. <laughs> no, nah, wait. Wait, I'll give you. I'm not going to lie. Netflix definitely has its times. But, like, I'll tell you this right now. I could probably go, like, I'm, I'm going to be honest. If I, I if it wasn't for say because I've been watching Fargo lately, if it wasn't for say Fargo and YouTube because that's where I've been definitely consuming a lot of heavy content as of lately, especially on the YouTube side. But I'm gonna be honest, I Netflix hasn't really had anything as of late that the because I think one of their issues is and, and I love this though it's a gift and a curse. It's because they give you everything at once. Because once you go through it, there's no reason to come back. But no, isn't but no on Netflix. Some of their shows, they don't get. I swore I saw it on some of their shows. They don't. They weren't. They started to not give you the full the full episode. The full yeah, thing. Yeah. Some some of them. Some of them. Some. Some of them. them yeah. I I start. I peeped that. I started to peep that. I'm like, okay, they're not giving you the whole that whole shebango bang right then and there, and then you just go ahead just binge watch it. No, you're right. You're right. Now, I'm gonna be honest. The next topic is a banger. It's a it's a doozy, and I love it, and I love it. So let's just go right here because you know we had a little technical difficulties, but we got Mac back up on the on the block with us. I'm here, I'm here. Um, so the 2020 U.S. presidential election is expected to involve almost a billion dollars in wagers. So niggas is out here betting on the next president. Fuck who fuck who got the best policy and who's gonna do best by you and your people. <laughs> we wanna see who's gonna win and we putting money on who we think is gonna win. Not only were we voting for our guy, we're betting on our guy. Shout outs to you, niggas was double dipping in the pot. Son, a getting bill, Charlie though? Rose on. But a yeah, Billy though? A Billy. But now the reason why I say that is not more so to go into the the the, the deep Las Vegas books because here's the crazy thing. If you follow if you follow the money, and it's always been said follow the money in anything, the money is showing that Biden might win. But then again, the money is definitely not saying Trump is guaranteed to lose. But exactly. My next question is who will win the election? Because the winner is, or the winner is not announced at the current moment and this is the first time in my lifetime i have not found out who the president was on november 3rd or yes. whatever the day was if you just go yeah. back to think so whatever yeah. day it was you voted this is the first time that i have never found out who the president was granted i know mail-in ballots everything i understand i get that i'm not ignorant to what's going on out there but what i am saying is how long are we going to be counting votes how long after the fact are we going to be counting votes? Yo, son, I heard, I I heard that it's going to take up to it could it could take up close to a month until they find out who the president is going to be. Listen, that's what I heard, bro. I I heard similar stories, but then again, I'm looking, and basically, it's really between some of these states to really come out and decide to say. 
who who won, but they're counting and they're stopped. Like the whole thing is like they're counting at 10, they're stopping at 10, they're going on, then more ballots are coming in. So they're counting the ballots that are coming in on top of the ballots that they already had. I'm my whole thing is, is I'm gonna be honest, I sound I sound crazy, but I'm like, bro, when are you gonna stop accepting ballots? It's like niggas who wanna come and vote on the fifth and the sixth and the seventh and the eighth. It's like, so, are you gonna accept their votes? No, but I get so it. It's, the it's ballots some shady take shit time going to on, come bro. there. It's, it some t- shit. it's gonna be some shady shit going on, bro. Bro, I kid you not. I wouldn't be surprised if they hit a recount on all this shit, on mm-hmm. everything. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Because at the same time, it's like there's so much uncertainty, and then there's so many votes that it's like, bro, like how many, when are you gonna stop counting? Like, really? When are you going to... And like I said, it doesn't matter. I don't care who wins. I don't care who wins. Like I said, but at the end of the day, I'm just looking at it from the point of view of like, all right. But I, but I, I got a question. I got a Go question. In. Go in. I got a question. Go in. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'm here like, for it, my nigga. I'm here <laughs> where, for it. A lot of these votes were already in, right? Yeah. Texas broke I mean, like, records. because people... Because people were putting David Mellon in Mellon in the votes for a minute now. Texas had more mail in votes this year than they had actual in person voters um in the last for the last election. So you telling me that y'all weren't prepared for this shit? It's it's not more so that they wasn't prepared for it. What I'm trying to say is that when are they gonna stop accepting it? Because a lot of people voted early and we respect that. Congrats and big shouts to everyone who participated and voted early to get their vote out. But then at the same time, for the people who mailed their their ballot, say you mailed your ballot out on November 3rd. But you're not supposed you weren't but, but hold up, but time out. Didn't they say no 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 no? Didn't they yo correct me if I'm wrong? Pardon me, didn't they say that if you mailed your if you mailed your ballot out on that on the third that it wasn't supposed to it wasn't going to count i don't know but see that's the whole thing wait a minute yo because yeah because they because they all because they told you they told you do not mail in your ballot on the third bro they tell you do not mail your ballot in on your on the third so look that's even better so there's people who's probably mail for the people who mailed it in on the third what are they going to do and if they're telling you don't mail it in on the third, and it's showing that it's been mailed on the third, do they still count it, or do they just the, like that's what I'm saying? This whole thing is going to get super, super sloppy. Like, yeah. and I'm gonna be honest, it's yeah. because of these mail-in ballots and the amount of mail-in ballots. And I'm not, I hate to say it, Trump has a point. It does lead to a lot of fraud or a lot of speculation to fraud because it's a lot easier to just go in person and vote. Yep. It's a lot easier. A lot easier. And a I, lot easier. You get the vote the same day. It's counted. It's accumulated. Then you don't have to worry about mail delay, uh, anything that's happening. Because uh, then again, you know, shit could happen with the mail. Bro, it's it's a whole bunch of shady shit going on, bro. Hands down. You can't tell oh, me course. nothing different, bro. Of course. Of course. You can't tell me nothing different. And that way, and if you want to you, you hear shady shit, my son who's in school, who's in the fourth grade, guess what his homework assignment was two days ago? Talk to me. His homework assignment was, check this out, check this out, was to, his teacher sent them a picture of the actual ballot that came in the mail. Okay, right. cool. That's what's up. One, you're influencing my child and his decision to vote at a young age. I don't like that. I don't know why I don't like it, but at the, I, I, I know why I don't like it, because one... I, I feel kids shouldn't be involved and worried about politics at that age because one, you can't do anything because they can't vote. And two, they should be worrying about being kids and learning, studying for but school, you, but playing you hear, video games. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. But you want to hear what you want to hear sound funny? They they do it within the fashion of they make it as if it's a game and make it seem like it's like it's a um it's something to be to get ready for. The, the, 
Yay, I can't wait to go do this. My nigga, that's exactly what they did. They sent yeah. my son to a website called Flocab- Fl- Flocabulary, where it's a rap song about voting and why he should vote. <laughs> yeah. And what I can, bro, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wait, is this pandering to the ultimate degree? Or am I just being super sensitive as a parent? But I'm like, I already told niggas, I got that's a very mind fuck, bro. bro. I got that's heavy a con- whole mind fuck. I got heavy conservative views, but the point is, is that. My, I see this and I'm like, all right, bet you send my song to a web, my son to a website about rapping about voting. One, well, first off, I'm just I'm speaking to you because I believe we're in the same age range. When were you? When were you introduced to voting at school? Yo, real talk. Real talk. I wasn't. I wasn't introduced to voting until probably like my seventh grade year. And they told you about voting in the seventh grade. Why you should vote? No, 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 no. They brought it to us as if we have to vote for our class president and shit like that. That's how. That's how it was introduced. Yeah. So wait, it wasn't introduced in the fa- in the manner of you should go vote for your president. Well, wait, and here's the crazy thing. I, I, I kid you not. Look, because I'm about to go off on a rant right now. Whoa, I'm about to go off on wheels. But the point that I'm trying to get to is that. My son's homework was basically, she sent them this ballot and he had to go basically, and she sent them this like registration form. And basically they made my son register to vote for homework at a nine years old. I don't know nah, why. I never, I never experienced that at nine Bro, years old. Hey, I'm going to take nah. a picture. I'm going to take a picture and put it on the screen. But I don't know why my nine year old is being or at least you're trying to influence my nine-year-old to vote and try to register him to vote at nine years old. At nine. That's, Fair, wait, that's, and bro, they did it as this, homework. This, son, that, yo, that's in the curriculum that is made for the teachers to give to the kids. That shit is crazy, bro. Wait, are you it's serious? Made. That's in the curriculum? That's in the curriculum. That's, a te- a, yo, son, a te- yo, listen... Each t- teachers they have a curriculum that they have to follow. Did uh, this this syllabus is given to the teachers to give to the kids? Yeah, yeah. This is no n- n- none of these teachers be winging anything. They have a curriculum that they have to follow, and they have to teach these kids. Bro, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Because if yeah. this is in the curriculum yeah. to teach my son about voting. And I'm not saying voting is bullshit. No, he should definitely know the importance to vote, why he should vote, why voting is important. But now the reason why I'm saying this and why I'm including bullshit is that at anything, I'm going to be very honest, the president is probably the least important thing he should be thinking about and voting for. Because him being a nine-year-old, and if he wants to really know about voting and voting that matters and where his vote matters the most, he should be voting in his local and his municipal level. He should be voting for things that could directly affect him immediately in the near future. Because when you vote for the president, and I'm being very honest and very clear, the president and the things that he does or what could get done don't directly affect you in the in, in the immediate future, or it may only affect the certain people that is allocated to in that bracket, if that makes any sense. Like, it may no, it be like, sense, you feel me? Like, say some of the tax breaks that Trump were giving out. If you're not a multi-million dollar company, some of these tax breaks don't affect you. So you feel upset when, you, when you're not getting them. Or say some of these uh, stimulus things that Biden is talking about. If you're eligible to collect the stimulus things, you're going to be like, yeah, I want these. Shit. You get what I'm saying? It's like, it really depends on who you're really targeting for what these things to really resonate with. But okay. now when you, you get what I'm saying? So... Now, when you're looking at these things with the voting, like, all right, bet, you want him to vote for the president. Now, if anything, you should be teaching him about the laws of the government and not about voting for the president. Why? Because if you taught him about the laws and the government, he could understand that the president basically can't do shit. There's three (laughs) branches of government. There's three. There's the executive... There's the legislative, legislative and there's and the judicial. judicial. You got to understand, the president falls under the executive branch. He is the one that could execute, that could execute, ex- execute the execute. orders. 
Yeah, my, my ass is, I'm sorry, you see I'm tripping on my tongue. But he can execute the orders. And there's several other branches that fall under the executive branch that can execute and get things done. I think the Fed, the CIA, the Pentagon, you know, Homeland, yeah. Sky, you feel me? This is the executive uh -huh. branches of the government. Basically, you need the legislative branches of the government who writes the laws and gets them put together and you know Congress, like, oh, yeah. you know Congress, you need them niggas to yeah. come together and make these laws and put things on the table that the executive branch could agree on and they could execute and then we could get these things pushed forward. But unless you understand how the legal system or the government works in this country, those two parties don't always get along. And when yeah. two people don't get along, they don't always agree on things. And when they At don't all. always agree on things, you don't get a lot of shit done. And that's what you should be teaching my son at nine. Not that he should go vote for a president, is that why is the legislative branch making these laws that the president won't approve or the president want laws to get passed and the legislative branch won't approve them? These are the conversations you should yeah. be having. Not you should vote for a president. We should vote for a better Congress and legislative branch that work with the president to get these laws and these things done and executed. And then last off, the, the, the judicial branch. And those are the motherfuckers who put people in jail, lock them up, and do the <laughs> for things. For a long, long time. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And then, and wait, and they are in cahoots with the legislative branch because they write the laws that put people in jail. Do you see uh -huh. where this goes? Right now, we shouldn't be voting for a president. We should be voting for a better hey, Congress yo, and a legislative branch. That's oh, uh, what we should be voting for. Hey, bro. Oh, that's the that's the illest triangle offense I ever seen. <laughs> my nigga, my nigga, but Bro, fam, <laughs> but wait, no, for real. But you 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 feel me though, or am I going? You feel me? I'm talking to the people right now. But wait, I had to experience this as a father. Watching my nine-year-old son, like, bro, what is this? Why are you doing this? Why are they trying to influence you on this? And here's another thing, too. When it comes down to voting, and I hope everyone knows and understands this, and I'm going to be very honest with you. When you vote, you should be voting for policy. Voting for people, like I said, who are going to possibly put things in place that could affect you, your family, and your immediate community as fast as possible. You shouldn't be voting on who you hate, who you like, and why you like them. I'm being honest. I'm being but honest. Know, that's how people vote, bro. But wait, that's, why that, people vote, man. that's how people vote. But I'm just being honest because you got to vote for people who are going to put policies in play that's going to work for you. And that's a lot of shit that people don't get because here's the thing. I don't care who votes for who, who don't. But this is the one thing the media has been doing. And I got to be really honest. Go vote. You should absolutely vote. Are we clear on that? Go and vote. It's important. You should vote. Now, once we get past that, the problem is who you vote for. Because voting is good, but only if you vote for Joe Biden. Because if you vote for Trump, that's bad. And <laughs> I see where you're going with this. Wait, Continue. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm only pointing this out because this is the stuff that the media is trying to put in front of you and they want you to understand and they want you to believe. But then again, I am not here to sway your vote or your decision. I don't care who you vote. And at this current moment in the taping of this cast, we don't know who the president is. But I will tell you this. When you do vote, vote for who, who, who like I said, for policies and people you think that affect you and believe in you. Because at the end of the day, don't be persuaded or don't let the media or your friends or people try to trick you out of voting for... Bro, if you want to vote for Biden, vote for Biden. Vote for him. Because you like Biden, his policies, and what he's going to do, and what you think he could do for you. But don't vote for... Punk. Don't not vote for Trump because you're scared of what the repercussions will be because you, you know people don't like Trump or they hate Trump. You feel me? If you like his policies, vote for his policies. Like, I tell you this right now. All the police got his vote. Why? Because he's not on the defund the police train. He yeah, believes in the police. police. 
He's he, he, he pro he pro cops. He's pro <laughs> law and order. So if you believe in law and order and you don't want to defund your local police, or if you live in a major city where crime is running rampant and you don't want your police to be defunded and you need these people or extra bodies in your community, I'm sorry, you might want to vote for Trump. But I don't mm. know where you live. If you live in one of the top five most dangerous, murderous cities in America, you might want to vote for Trump. Especially if you have a lack of or if the police is being fucking or is getting their ass handed to him right now. I'm just being honest. Just being honest. Mm. Wait, if you run a business right now, if you're an independent business owner and you're making a couple hundred thousand to north of a million a year, some of these tax breaks that Trump put in play benefit you. you. They work they work directly for you. Yeah. To you. Because yeah. taxes, what it was for independent contract, I think it's like 14% um a quarterly, or I think you know, it was 28% or some shit. I forgot what it was. It was like 14 to 28% or whatever the case was. So if you're an independent contractor and you're paying taxes and you're running a company and some I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm just with it. Wait, but not everybody is that. So but I can understand. You feel me? Yo, it's funny you said that. It's funny you said that because they even had a they had a um oh god, it was a business loan that they were giving out to people. And you had up to it for a whole year, you didn't have to pay nothing on it. And you had a low APR. It, it was <laughs> it was like it, yeah, son, it was a it was a business loan that they, they were giving out, like grant slash type loans that they was giving out. And it was given to anybody that had a, a small business, mm-hmm. and you needed a loan. We give you thirty thousand, whoop de whoop, and don't worry about paying it off the first year. You're good. Don't worry about that. But once the next year hit, you have a low APR, and you and you just work it from there. That's really? crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. But wait, these are the things that some of these people are putting in play, and don't get it twisted. Biden is talking about defunding the police and putting that money back into the community. If your community needs more parks, more swings, and less cops, I think that's a beautiful thing. Because I will say this right now, because there are some communities that are over-policed. I do want to say that. But I, but I have a, a question. I have a question, though. Yeah. Would... I don't... Yo, it's uh, it's like Look, a double edged. No, it's go like for it. Sword. I'm not, I'm not agreeing with either one, but I'm just making an argument and playing devil's advocate to why someone would vote for Biden, why someone would vote for Trump. But the whole thing is, when you see the media, the media is telling you to vote, but they're not telling you to vote Trump. They're telling you to vote. Like, if it makes any sense, like it, they're telling you to vote, and they're nudging you to vote Biden. They're not nudging yeah. you to vote Trump. Or they're not, wait, yeah. even better, why are they nudging you to vote? Vote. Let's just really think about that. It should just be like, hey, go out and vote. Your vote matters. Period. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, like, like, it like, shouldn't like, be. Like, why, why, are they, why are they basically feeding, feeding this to you? They're feeding it to you. They're feeding it. They're feeding wait, it. Wait, it'd be like an article. It. You feel me? It'd be an article slamming Trump, and then the next thing would be go out and vote. And it'd be like, or the NBA, wait, even better. The NBA, go out and vote. And you got a fucking Joe Biden walking on the screen, pointing at you to vote. Like, wait, why don't you got Trump? Wait, Trump, you, you're not. Wait, you're not. You don't want Trump to walk out on the str- on the screen and tell your fans to vote, or you're not supporting that that message. Like, that's the whole thing. Voting is good only if you vote for the people we want you to vote for. And yeah. now that's the thing that I don't like because that is voter manipulation. That yeah, is voter influence. That welcome is to the program, bro. Why are you trying to influence my vote? Wait, I thought I was watching <laughs> basketball. <laughs> hold up, because right, right after hold up, right after you just seen LeBron yam, vote for Biden. And wait, and check this out. Your vote. Check this out. I got no problem for Biden. Because like I said, I can stay, I can sit here and make an argument for Biden. Onto why some of the things that he wants to do will work, could work, and benefit people, and, 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 and I can sit here and make an argument for Trump as well. But the argument that I'm making that sounds like it's in favor of Trump is the truth because 
everybody, it's easy to vote for somebody that you, that people are telling you to vote for a person that everyone's telling you the other person is so bad that you should hate. You get, if that makes any sense. But like, he's bad. Hate him. Vote for him. He's good. But then the crazy thing is, that he's not even that good. Biden is not even that good. I'm going to be very, fr I'm going to put it like here. Wait, this is the analogy I've been telling people all along before even election day. Choosing who to vote for is like deciding between your foot and your hand. Which one do you want to keep more? <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm being honest. Trump is not perfect. He needs to get this healthcare shit together. There's a lot of shit you need to get together. You feel me? But at the yeah. same time, I'm not going to sit here and be like, yo, Biden is a fucking home run. No. He's like Hillary 2.0 with a better VP. <laughs> or at least a VP that makes people feel confident in what they could get done to get. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of Kamala and the no bail and the whole. I'm I'm good, but at the same time, look, it is what it is. I'm not here to slam either party. I'm just here to speak my piece on it. Look, you got you got hey, anything? Who, Talk to me, nah, bro. I ain't, I ain't got I ain't got nothing on that shit, bro. You sure? I feel like you're biting your tongue, bro. This ain't the place to bite the tongue, bro. You feel me? Don't be out here fucking scared. Speak your fucking peace, my nigga. You saw that I got I had to get that shit off my chest ASAP in a hurry. I ain't playing. So talk to me. Nah, my this nigga. the thing. This the Dad, thing, bro. Talk to me. I like I agree with you on that note. Because I, I honestly feel like if you matter of fact, I had a conversation with somebody, right? Just just about politics in general. No, no names. Just a regular conversation. And they were telling me I'm I'm voting because I want to make sure that the future has a, a good future. So in the process of, of me listening to that and I I didn't I, I, I didn't fight it first. I didn't fight it first. I said, OK, cool. I understand that. But so since you want to pick that person, why are you picking that person? Mm -hmm. Like, like, let me, like, let me. I want to understand what, what, what you know about this person that is going to make a better future for the future. Couldn't tell me. So when I seen that, and I'm like, damn, I said, yo, it's true. It's a program. You're being programmed. You don't even know anything about neither one of these presidents, and and it's not just you. It's millions of people out here. Everybody that went up, the majority of the people that went up there to put their vote in, they, they voted off pure emotion. Facts. Pure emotion. Nothing more, nothing less. We can talk all day about the blue, the red, what this one could do, what this one can't do. None of that matters. No. It doesn't matter to the public because they don't care. The only thing they see is what is being showed. So true. What is being programmed. What it, not the little, not the little fine, the fine print that you need to sign your um sign your name under, mm -hmm. but everything else that's in big lettering. That's that what we want you to see. That's what it. we want you to hear. And I don't. So agree it's with like it. It, it's it's sad, bro. Because at the end of the day, like you don't even know what type of rabbit hole you're stepping into. This is so true, so true. And this shit gets deep, and it leads you to places you don't, you didn't even think you would want to go. Word. <laughs> I'm trying like, to tell niggas. Like you, because the so thing it, is, is that look, I'm not a Biden hater, but the thing is, let's just talk facts. He was in the White House for eight years. Uh, vice eight, president. Wait, wait. Recently, the past decade, he spent eight years in the past decade in the White House and did shit. Then before that, he spent X amount of years in government and politics putting together policies that set us back. And I mean us, I mean us as a people. And yes. then he set things in motion that, wait, the whole thing is, is that, bro, he has a track. The one thing that Trump says that is very true, he has a track record of failure. Mm -hmm. That is one thing that is, but then think about it. Think about it. And I'm just, this is a pure, this is pure factual argument. I have no favor. I don't care who vote. I, I didn't vote, period. I'm not registered to vote. I'm not a registered voter. Slam me in the comments. That's totally fine. I'm just speaking my piece. I'm being honest. The person who has a resume of failure 
a track record of setting us and our people back and just recently came out the White House and couldn't complete on half of the shit that he just said that he's going to do now, that he just was re just re literally four years ago, he's in the White House <laughs> doing, right, four years ago, he was in the White House talking that shit and he's telling us now four years later no <laughs> i'm gonna do it dream, this baby. time oh he said that bernie sanders shit we're gonna do it this hey right, so that nigga that nigga with the record of failure is so bad wait wait wait, wait. Let, let me reword this we hate trump so much the media hates Trump so much <laughs> that that this nigga with the record of failure and the who was just recently in the White House who couldn't get this shit done and is now trying to lie to us now four years later that he could do it. Now he could do it. It was the it was the it was the it was the wait it was the Congress. That's why I couldn't get it done. It was it was the um, the the Senate. That's why I could whatever the case was. He's but now. Wait. I, I, I'm gonna get it done. Well, this time, though. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get it. Right I'm gonna get it done this time. That's what we should vote for. <laughs> wait, take this out. The, we hate Trump that bad that this nigga is the shining star. But then here's the crazy thing, because there, if you notice one thing on the fucking on, on election night is that they wasn't just showing one election; they were showing three elections. They were showing the election for the presidency. They were showing the election for the the seat on the Senate. And they're showing the election for who holds the House, <laughs> the House of Congress. Now, if you can see how everything is going and lining up, the House is still Republican and the Senate, I think, majority is Republican. So regardless, regardless who's president, but especially Joe Biden, uh huh, he still ain't going to get shit done. Because the people, because sure like I just said in my previous rant, the people he needs to help work with him to get this shit done and to get these laws in play, they don't fuck with him. At all. So it's like, it's, it's <laughs> it's like you, you back at square one. We're back at square fucking one. So it's another fucking, what, eight years of Obama? Oh my God, no. Lord, save me. Hey, son. Yes, we Save can. Me. No, we can't. <laughs> no, we fucking can't. Jit Low, let's get off of this, bro. Let's get off of this. I'm going off. <laughs> no, we fucking can't, man. What are you talking about? Another eight. No, I'm going to do it with eight more years. So wait, after 16 oh years in office, the better half of a fucking uh, a, a, a century, uh, like, hold up. What is this nigga going to tell us he got done, bro? What is he going to tell us he got done? He going, you know, he going to say, "Oh he my say god, what, bro. He better he spin say what the Obama just said when he made that three-pointer. This is what I do. This is what I do. <laughs> this is what he do. I shit the bed. I shit the bed. This is what I Wait, do. No, you should tell the people go vote for Congress. That's what you should <laughs> fucking do. Go vote for Congress. Keep the house blue because then all the shit that you try to do, you can get done. Good but facts. but look, let's 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 move on, bro. We spent a lot Where of time. We at next show. Oh my gosh. Um, hold up. Yeah. So I was here. All right. Look, honestly, what time is it? Yo, we've been we've been going. Look, we could do the wild out topic of the of the night, and we could close it up there. Cause this wild out, you feel right. me? Cause we we gave him a nice healthy two hour cast. We're gonna have to chop this one up. You'll get this one sometime Friday night, Saturday night. You feel me? We get left. the clips throughout the weekend to hold y'all down. You know what I mean? Yeah, and don't forget hit that boy. subscribe subscribe like button, and you can uh, and go subscribe to the podcast, man. New logo, new everything. Tell us how you like that too, bro. Cause you know, we, we trying to really improvise, make the shit look all you know what I mean, belly dance so good and shit. But, this nigga uh, shot the fuck out of this nigga said. <laughs> nah, you feel me, my nigga? Nah, real real fucking talk. But um, let me see right here. Um I got yeah, I got I gotta pull this up right here. This is the wild out topic of the week because I thought this shit was fucking crazy. So this is um th this is fucking crazy, fam. All right, so basically, Breonna Taylor, we understand what happened to that poor young lady, yeah. the unfortunate demise, um, the, the horrible um, law enforcement that took place. And when I say horrible, I mean the execution of the warrant, the the lack of uh, accountability, the 
the lack that shit of production. Was sad, bro. There was a lot. It was just really sloppy. The paperwork was bad. There was a lot of things. Like put it like this: regardless of if they executed it, everything properly with the proper permission or whatnot, there was a lot of things after the fact that even police officers and people in that field will say was very sloppily handled and was left to be very misleading to the public, especially if they were under the the, the impersonation that this was not going to go any further than where it was. If you that makes any sense, they did, if they mm-hmm. if they thought this was just going to be a regular, you know, shooting, they were going to be like, all right, on to the next one. But since this got national attention, it kind of got, you know, they made them they made them look. So that's the best way to say. But look, them niggas got exposed. <laughs> basically, they got exposed and they got they made them look bad. And that's the thing, yeah. you know, that's the one thing about with defund the police. I definitely agree with. You feel me? I don't agree with defunding the police. No. But I do agree when you have police officers out there making a fool of the police force, wasting taxpayer dollars, doing bullshit, trying to sweep it under the rug, be mini kingpins and just got themselves involved in things that they shouldn't. That's where you got to take the money away because we're not paying for that. The bad says protect and serve your community, not the people you choose. So, but that's Mm. either here or there. The, The Louisville police officer files lawsuit against boyfriend of Brianna Taylor. I find this to be amazingly interesting because right now the Louisville police officer who was shot during the botched narcotics raid on Brianna Taylor's apartment has filed a countersuit against Taylor's boyfriend Kenneth Walker. The lawsuit filed by Sergeant Jonathan Manley says Walker committed battery. Hold on, wait. Committed battery, assault, and intentional emotional distress. Walker, a licensed gun owner. Wait, wait, uh, let's not go. No- wait, is wait, this ho- fam? Wait, fam, I didn't even wait. think that shit was real. Wait, peep, you, I just want you, just so you heard what I heard. He's claiming battery, assault, and emotional distress for being shot. Or oh, wait, was he? Yeah, I think that's nigga. Was the one, he was the one who was shot. So. Basically, for all this that has taken place after him and your your squad of goons did a barrage on this young lady's apartment and took her life uh, prematurely, you don't feel that that him and his family and her family (laughs) should be suing you for everything that you're just claiming right now? No, son. That nigga a whole bitch, bro. A whole bitch? That nigga's four-fifths of a bitch and four-fifths of a hoe. Wrapped it on? (laughs) What up, so... What? Yo. I can't even believe what I'm reading. The audacity. Audacity, my nigga. Audacity, my nigga. Yo, son, this nigga is like... Laying in the bed looking like I'm the victim. Son, you see this shit? On some straight hoe shit. On some straight hoe shit. Like, bro. And they're selling this shit. They're going to flip this shit, bro. Bro, this shit is fucking crazy to me, fam. It's crazy to me. For one, I can't believe uh, uh, him after seeing all the media exposure, coverage, everything taking place, everything that just went, you feel me? The everything that just happened with the with the case, the national attention, the twelve million dollar lawsuit. That's probably what it was. These saw these, these mm. niggas. Wait, hold that. That's crazy. Cause that wow, I forgot to bring that up. But if that's how he is looking at it, you're even twice a piece of shit. You should die. Bro. Oh my no, let me not switch that on you. But bro, Sorry, you nigga. are such a piece right. of shit. Cause they definitely got right. they the Kentucky awarded them a $12 million lawsuit for the premature death of their daughter. And if you're trying to sue him on the oh, bro, 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 Matt, jump bro. in. Say tell, say something. Just don't say Sorry. this. Just say something though. This nigga switched the whole narrative now. Son. Well, he's this right the here is going to show you white privilege at its finest. Wait. This, wait, what you mean? Wait, this has already shown you white privilege at its finest, my nigga. How do you go from being the, 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 the uh, aggressor to now playing the victim? Remember, you guys executed a no-knock warrant and then took her life and got sh- and you got shot at for doing the wrong thing because clearly everything was in the wrong. 
Everything you did, everything about that was wrong. Wrong house, bad warrant, took the young lady's life, bad paperwork, everything. Yo, then he's you gonna fast win that forward case, to, bro. I'm the victim. Son, son he's going to win that case, bro. What? He's going to watch. He's going to win the case. Nigga, now you talking crazy. Are you talking? Wow. Don't don't talk crazy because crazy is the theme right now with this topic. Talk nah, son, bro, son, he's gonna win this case, bro. You're Either he's gonna win it or they're gonna settle it out of court. Nigga, you're drunk. You're I drunk. You, all right, okay. I'm not even gonna hold son, you. Yo, yo, I'm yo, the bro, type oh, of no, motherfucker no, based no, off that? what I've been through with these niggas. I take this shit to court. I'll get twelve motherfuckers on that jury, and they are no way in hell. I believe twelve niggas is gonna vote. For, vote against me or for him. The, well, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Depending yeah, where we're holding I'm, court. Like, I'm, I'm listening to you. Depending I'm where we're holding court. To you. We need to make sure it's a quarter of, of our peers and it's an equal I, diverse. I'm to you. It has to be Bro. a very diverse <laughs> juror box. We cannot have Bro, this I'm, in the I'm middle of fucking affluent <laughs> Kentucky. I'm, I'm being honest right now. Because if we have this shit in the middle of Kentucky somewhere where it's all rich folk, this is not going to go the Son. way we think it should go. Son, Kentucky is a racist state, bro. <laughs> oh, man, bro. See, don't say that because I don't know much about Kentucky, but if, I, if that's you all I need right to now, know... Son, Kentucky, Kentucky is, yo, Kentucky is... Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that, bro. The niggas racist I'm like that? I'm going to leave it like that, bro. Say, wait, say like, what? Hey, Kentucky, I ain't know y'all niggas was racist like that. I ain't son, know y'all they niggas get was busy racist. down there, son. Them niggas get busy, bro. Wait, Kentucky, wait. Uh, do they get as busy as Mississippi? Because I just found out that their state flag was the Confederate one with fucking variation. Like, hold up. You don't get no they more get, racist yo, than son, that. They get very as much as Mississippi, bro. I'm not even capping, bro. No I, cap, son. I, I got it. I got. Wait, I'm not gonna hold you. I'm gonna look into it. But if I find anything, yo, I'm gonna yo, put it on yo, the yo I was about to tell you. Don't take my word for it. Look it up. No, absolutely, absolutely, bro. And then even better, if I do find something, I'm gonna put it on the screen. And be like, shit, this nigga was right. So hold up. It's gonna be. If you're right, there's gonna be something right here that's gonna be like this nigga is right. But if he's not right, there's not gonna be nothing there because I didn't find anything. But <laughs> I would make sure that if he's right, we have something there. But them racist motherfuckers in Kentucky get exposed. Because we don't want y'all up there living comfortable. We need y'all to get y'all feathers ruffled. You know what I mean? Fuck out of here. Real talk. Nah, but... Real, shit, but that shit, shit real, son. But like. yeah, this nigga right here, he's suing. Basically, you think he's going to win. I think this nigga is crazy for even suing or even... A... Oh, no, I know. I, no, I agree with you. No, don't get... Let, let me... Let me... Let me... Let me just... Cor- if you didn't know, I agree with you. Everything that you're saying, I agree with. But just off the strength of he had enough balls and he, he has a he has a machine backing what he's doing right now, mm-hmm. son, I can see I, I can see that going into his favor very oddly, bro. Like real shit, Look, real shit, bro. You, you know, yo, 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 son, you know how this game be out here, bro. You know how 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 shit get tainted. <laughs> no, nah, that's you a, know how that pendulum swing, bro. My, my nigga, you know, that is son. that is a fact. That is a fact that I'm not even going to ignore. Son. Like, but, like, and even me saying it, it breaks my heart, bro. But that's how that cookie crumbles, bro. No, you're right. On many occasions, on many occasions, bro, you've seen it. They show it all the time. No, you're right, my nigga. Like, it's, it's fucking sad, man. Wait, that shit it, is fucking sad. It's sad, but then again, at the same time, it's like, yo, it, it, it if it plays out like that, it only shows you the ugly truth of America, that you could turn around and murder his girlfriend, their, their her parents' daughter, X, Y, you, you could go down the whole chain and then turn around and sue them for emotional distress, battery, and assault. And then, like you said, when... Like, I'm not going to hold you. If this motherfucker wins, I am done. Like, America, like, anything is possible in America. Like, that, that just, that's what that just proves to me. The criminal justice system or whatnot, it's like, it's like you could murder, it's like basically murdering somebody and then turning around and suing the family for emotional distress for what they put you through with the legal, um, with the, the legal case and everything with the going through. Like, What? Like that is yeah. crazy. This is like a like, complete so, mockery. So wait, 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 wait. So what? We started it. We you 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 stressed us out. We need to sue you now. I'm good, bro. <laughs> Basically, 
basically, so what we started the fire. Watching this fire made us really feel some type of way, so now we're suing you. That's basically what that is. Bro, this is some bullshit. Anyone watching this getting ideas, bros, don't. Because that's all I can say, don't. This is not the type of shit you should do. Don't go sue your victim and play as the victim. That's, that just sounds um, crazy. I'm going to sue the victim as the victim. Like, but like I said, this is America. Anything could happen. So yep. with anything being anything, that's the wild out topic of the week, my nigga. And with that being Ooh. said, we just gave y'all a classic, a classic, classic, classic. I'm glad that we were able to make this shit happen. You feel me? It's the first in a long time. But like I said, indeed, indeed. Yo, we'll be back Tuesdays and Thursdays. Just keep the eye out for us on all major platforms Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Apple, SoundCloud. We are there live and direct. And I am your host, Piff Beats. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram. Um, yeah, all every yeah, that's me, Piff Beats. And go listen to some music. The link will be in the description. And to the left of me, the best of me, my good sir, Mac Amazing. Please talk to the people. Tell them where they can find you, my good brother. Yo, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, M dot A M A Y Z N. Yo, it was a great one, bro. We're gonna have many more. This is yeah. You heard this it. This is beautiful. Tuesdays and Thursdays, check in or be on the check-in. This is the Daily Heat Check Smokecast, and we are out. Peace. Deuces. <laughs> that was a classic, my nigga. Yo, my fucking laptop died.